With that, Coach, we're going to ask you to make an opening statement. Lots of progress tonight. Uh, we really came out here to be aggressive, to try to increase our stick percentage. I, you know, love when I see these ladies feed off the crowd. A huge thank you to the energy our students and the crowd brought. Uh, it just makes such a difference. Um, you know, this group of women, they're special. They have a bond and a chemistry that when someone makes a mistake, they absolutely pick their sister up. And you saw that tonight. So we did come out with some huge vaults, which was one of our goals. We've got to find a few more landings. We went over to bars. I loved how they just, even after Shania made a mistake, the girls didn't miss a beat and kept pushing. Went over to Beam. First athlete, you know, makes a very uncharacteristic mistake. I honestly can say I think I've seen Ella fall on a switch side twice in probably all of her career. But at the same time, the ladies went five up, five count right after that. And Floor was so awesome. Luisa Blanco had to step out. Cameron Machado stepped in. Sydney Mitchell was ready. It was just a lot of fun. And uh, really proud of our freshman, Lily Hudson, going all around and just staying very calm, cool, and collective. And I'm really proud of Makari Doggett for having a great night. And uh, yeah, so many positives. All right, if you'll raise your hand. Robert, go ahead. Um, Coach, what was your mindset and emotions like watching Macquarie perform on the beam? And in your playing days, how did you handle performing after a ball in the balance beam? Macquarie's a competitor. She's a fighter. And I knew that she would stay ultra focused and do what she was capable of doing. So I was very confident in her ability to come after a fall because, you know, what happened a second ago doesn't matter. It's the next thing. And uh, I think that Makari's only going to continue to get better and better on balance beam. She's a very aggressive beam worker. So the mindset was confidence. As far as back in my day, I think that it's the same concept is the next second's more important. So you're not always going to be perfect. And how are you going to move on to the next thing? Let that mistake go, learn from it, and then forget about it and go to the next, next moment. Katie, go ahead. I've coached a long time, so I could say to you I've seen power on our athletes. I thought that tonight's performance, though, was just a group of really prepared young athletes. They are ready, and I feel like we did a great performance, but we still can do better. But they really did enhance their presentation. Their leaps were more, more dynamic and more precise, which is what we were working on. And I just loved how they love each other. Go ahead. Can you elaborate on um, the decision to go with Jordan Paradise for the vault and then also what happened to Louisa? So Jordan Paradise has been working diligently on vault. She was sidetracked a long time in fall because of wrist injury, and she will let me share that. That's why I'm sharing it. And she came on strong the last two weeks, and I think her teammates can share with you that she is powerful, and we were so excited to see her this week. You know, she hasn't nearly has as many reps as some other people, but she believes in herself. And I truly know that if our women believe in themselves, they will be amazing competitors and they will do great things. And your second question? As far as Louisa, what? Louisa uh, presented some lower leg pain and she was kind of sharing this with me and I just thought, you know, it's a long season. We want to be smart, make great decisions. And she certainly rocked the two events that she competed. And so I think we made a wise choice. Thank you. Thank you. Mikey. You go ahead. How do you help Lily Hudson get better? Lily Hudson is the most self-motivated young lady. I don't think there's going to be a lot of having to motivate. She is going to come in and work the details. She has a great attention to detail. She makes every single turn in the gym like a championship turn, and it's going to bode well for her during her career. Robert, go ahead. Any practice on any event, do you guys 
guys um, like practice situations as if you're performing after a fall or not your routine? Well, those situations happen in, in practice, so we don't necessarily have to create them. I think that we have a philosophy of as many people ready on as many events so that if anything does happen and presents itself, no one even has to waver. We know that you got to slide somebody in and everyone has the same level of confidence in that person as someone else. We could easily put Shallon in. We could easily put Makari in. We could e I mean, there's so many choices uh, on bars and beam and, and floor and vault. Really, that's so exciting. The vault performance we did tonight, if you don't know gymnastics, you may not see it, but it's huge for where we're going. And I'm just excited that we are going to be able to have 610 vaults. I'm very confident in that. Katie, go ahead. How encouraging is it for you as a coach? That, I know it's still early in the season, but from week to week, you've almost improved, like almost a point uh, every single week in the all-around sport. You know how you say everything happens for a reason? I think we had an idea of what OU was going to look like for us and we fell short of what our goals were. And instead of having a pity party, the girls came in and they were on fire. And they just honed in on the details and all the things they needed to do to get better. And then you had a better performance at the University of Florida in a really boisterous crowd, which only gets these ladies ready for our championship season. And we didn't let down this week. They continued to put the work in. It was a short turnaround. Think about it. We competed on Sunday, day off, two days of practice, stretch, compete. The philosophy back in the fall was to be farther along in the very beginning of season, not just because of who you're competing against, because we want to be on the floor the final night of the national championship, and we know what it's going to take, and this team is going to do everything they possibly can and put every single uh, practice into play to try to make progress and not just go through the motions. And I'm excited for that. Coach, it's been over a year, uh, well over a year since you've had that kind of crowd in Coleman Coliseum. What did that bring tonight? Uh, thank you, Roll Tide. It was so awesome. I still think we need to teach our cr crowd, if you see a 9-9 nine -nine or better, you got to go crazy. You can't do a golf clap. It's got to be an eruption. I don't even want to be able to hear myself think. That's how big it has to be. But look at the students all the way up to the rafters. That was so cool. And we've got some great student stuff happening every single meet. So keep on coming because it's only going to get better. And we still have more athletes to put in the lineup. So you never know who you're going to see. So don't get comfortable. Thank you, Coach. Roll Tide.